at least five legislators announced Tuesday that they had tested positive for COVID-19 ahead of tonight's State of the Union address. To attend tonight's speech, guests, even those who are fully vaccinated, are required to produce a negative test. California Senator Alex Padilla and Rep. Pete Aguilar, Rep. Jamie Raskin of Maryland, Rep. Susan Del Benny of Washington and Rep. Ted Deutsch of Florida, all Democrats, announced by statements or tweets Tuesday that they had tested positive. Rep. Lauren Underwood of Illinois said Friday that she had tested positive. Typically, a State of the Union address is attended by one. 500 people or more. Members of Congress and other political dignitaries bring guests and family members. But last year, only 200 people attended Biden's joint address to Congress in April, just as COVID-19 vaccines had started to become widely accessible to most American adults. This year, all 535 members of Congress were invited to attend tonight's speech, a decision made with the guidance of Brian P. Monahan, the Capitol's attending physician. Many Republicans had decided to skip the event. Senator Marco Rubio, Republican Florida, said he would not attend because he objected to the requirement that all those present would need to take a COVID-19 test. Attendees will not be required to wear masks tonight, a change to Monaghan's guidance made in the wake of falling COVID-19 levels in the D.C. area. The White House also recently changed its mask policy, allowing fully vaccinated staff members to go maskless. 